protesters from all across the state showing up to Lawyers Mall in Annapolis yesterday, many of them wearing red to show unity and their support for more education funding. We have people from all over the state of Maryland. All 24 jurisdictions in our state are here tonight and it is going to be a great night and your presence is going to make a huge difference. Across the country, we see headline after headline of educator and student-powered activism. Are you ready to make some headlines of your own? The Constitution doesn't say educate children in county A, B, C, or D. It says the children of Maryland. Our fight is to fix the fund, to make sure casino revenue goes to increasing education funding and not budget gimmicks or political games. The truth is that if only we had the resources that we need and we had access to those resources, our efforts would be considered, our identities would be recognized, and most importantly, our fights would be rewarded. In my 20 years of working as an ESP, I've never made a living wage. We're tired of working, like Sean said, two and three jobs, deciding between medicine and food some weeks because we can't afford both. I've been in schools that have it, but you go 10 minutes down to another county and it's a different story. Teachers from across the state of Maryland say they're fed up. So they marched around the state house, demanding that funding for public education becomes a priority for lawmakers. We have so many children who are out here who are disadvantaged, children who are not receiving proper education because we are not, we don't have the resources in order to teach them what they need to be taught. 22 years I have been teaching in Prince George's County, 16 and a half right here. Yeah, we got like a million years upon all of us, and we are still out here trying to fight for what we have to fight for. Big stuff fun! Big stuff fun! Big stuff fun! Big stuff fun! And tonight, the state Senate unanimously passed the Fix the Fund Act, so now it goes to the House of Delegates. If they pass it too, it goes before the voters in November. Reporting in Annapolis, Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.